fellow dancers. Today I wanted to take us through breaking and our point shoes because the way we want them to look on our feet are a little different to the way they look when they come just off the shelf. So there's three things we need to think about when breaking in our point shoes. First of all, it's breaking in the box area. So this is called our vamp. And when you first get them, they're quite boxy and extremely hard. So this is gonna feel kind of nasty on your foot. So the first thing you wanna do is get this area. And I like to just step on it with my heel to flatten it out a little bit, because then when I put it on my foot, it's going to feel a lot better and it's going to sit on my toes a much nicer way. So there's a few different ways you can do it with your hand, with your foot. I've even seen people put it in between the door hinges, a few different ways you can do this to make that work. So that'll feel a lot less boxy on your foot when you put it in. So the next thing you wanna do is look at the shank. So the shank right now, that's sitting very, very stiff and upright. If I were to put that on my foot and stand onto point, I can't even quite get up on my point shoe, it's pulling me back. So the thing that's really important about wearing your point shoes is you want that shank to sit nicely up in your arch when you're on point. So some people think they don't want to touch the point shoe because they want it to last a really long time, but that's incorrect. You actually want to give it a little bit of a bend because the more it sits up along your foot, probably the longer it's going to last, the better it'll feel on your feet, the nicer you're going to work in your point shoes. So what I like to do, I know that my arch sits about three quarters of the way up the shoe. So you can measure that by just putting the shoe on and seeing where your arch sits when you point your foot. So mine's about three quarters of the way up. So I like to give my shoe a little bit of a bend, a little bit of a bend at that point in the shoe. Now, another way to do this is you can actually get a knife and just give it a little bit of a slice with the knife where you want it to bend, just to encourage it to really bend at that point in the shoe. Now, step three for breaking in our point shoes is this bit on the end. This is our block. And the block can be very, very noisy and very, very loud. So when you're jumping in your point shoes and things like that, you don't want to be the noisiest elephant in the room bouncing on the floor. So what we tend to do when we're breaking in our shoes is to give them a bit of a bash to get that softening a little bit, to get the noise out of it when you are jumping and going off the floor. So you can simply do this. I won't do it too loud because it's going to be very annoying. Find a hard surface and give it bit of a knock on the floor, okay? Because it will get the sound out of that and when you're jumping, it'll be a lot quieter. So to recap, three things. First of all, your box. You don't want it to be kind of stiff like this one. This is a shoe I haven't broken in yet. It's very stiff, it's very boxy, it's kind of putting pressure. So you really want to take the time to flatten and soften that box just so it's going to sit on your foot much nicer. Second thing we want to do is looking at this shank. We want it to go to the arch of our foot. So my arch is about three quarters of the way up and I'm just going to want to break that in so it's going to sit nicely at the arch when I'm up on my points. Another thing we can do is actually pull out this top nail. This is something you want to experiment with Everything we do with our point shoes is an experiment. You'll find one pair of shoes might fit different to the others and it's just about really finding what works for you. So I've often pulled out this top nail because I find that having that kind of gap between the shoe there, it actually sits much nicer along my foot. So that's something else you can do. And then step three is just looking at the sound that you're making as you're hitting the floor. So I like to give my shoes a little bit of a bash to soften the box of the shoe just there. So you can <laughs> play your musical instruments, do this when your parents aren't around and it should soften up the sound with the shoes there. And as I said, everything you do with your shoes is an experiment, but at the end of the day, you really want it to sit nicely up on your foot when you're going up onto point. So it's not just stiff like the way it is when you should get your shoe off the shelf straight away. So hopefully guys, this helps and your shoe will be fitting nicely against your foot. Bye guys.